Hey, it's me, it's Libby at Breathe Physical Therapy and Wellness, and I'm here today to talk to you about everything that one can put in or near the vagina. Um, so there are lots of things. I think we can talk about menstrual products first. Um, the first thing is I will try to answer questions if you post them, but it's sometimes hard for me to see on my phone. So when should we use a menstrual cup versus a pad versus an organic pad versus an incontinence pad versus a tampon versus um, cotton pads versus period underwear? There are so many different things that we can use to help with menstruation. Um, so menstrual cups, I will tell you that I own, I'm somewhat aware of what goes on with the menstrual cup. So there are different shapes and there are different flexibilities of menstrual cups. It takes, there's a little bit of a learning curve to getting used to using them. Those of you with a lot of pelvic floor problems or who have prolapses or um, you might not find a menstrual cup very comfortable and it might not sit very evenly inside the pelvis. I have a long history of pelvic floor pain and some damage from a delivery. I can't use a menstrual cup. I just can't have anything inside of me. I can't use a tampon very comfortably either um, just because my muscles get too tight. Um, I can use one, you know, for swimming, something like that. Those are great. Um, so menstrual pads, for those of you who can't use tampons or menstrual cups, then we talk about menstrual pads or period underwear. Um, menstrual pads, the Always brand tends to have the most chemical sensitivity, so it's very absorbent, but that can then irritate the vaginal skin and the skin of the opening. Um, better menstrual pads, if those are necessary, are more organic or chlorine-free or they have the least amount of chemicals in them. If incontinence is a problem, um, urine leaking, then we want to definitely use an incontinence pad and not a menstrual pad because menstrual pads are meant to hold more viscous fluid while incontinence pads are meant to hold um, more liquid fluid and it can make one feel wetter by using a menstrual pad for urinary incontinence instead of menstruation. Um, period underwear, I have uh, one brand that is it's not the Thinks brand. I, I wonder about the brand. Um, it is very useful for keeping my, the sensitive skin a little bit cleaner um, during the beginning and the end to keep the pads away from sensitive vaginal skin. Um, they're not super absorbent with a very heavy flow, but I don't know if that's just because I have a different brand. Um, but I really like them especially for um, sometimes when we use pads that are not super absorbent, like am like more organic or bleach free they're not quite as absorbent and so there can be more leaking so sometimes some period underwear to be used at the same time um, if there's any leaks they can also be um, there we may have to change them more frequently because they're not absorb as absorbent there are also organic and like flannel pads that can be used that just need to be washed um, some people with pet um, with prolapses or pelvic floor problems can't use tampons either um, or can't use them comfortably. The skin can even irritate the opening of the vagina. So there are lots of different pros and cons to using all the different menstrual products and sometimes trial and error is what we have to do. So next thing I wanted to talk about is a pessary. A pessary is something that is inserted inside the vagina to hold everything up. It can be really good for leaking when it comes to exercise, especially if nothing else has been helpful. Um, they are very common in South America, in Australia, in Europe, and we have a very hard time getting any of you to use pessaries. Um, they can be really good for vaginal pressure that comes with exercise or um, like a bubbly, wet feeling or... Um, it's somebody call them the bubblies. So pessaries can be really nice to hold everything up and in for exercise. Um, they're, especially if you've done all the exercises that we've talked about and you're still having trouble with pelvic floor problems. So that's what a pessary is for. Um, let's talk about vaginal weights. Vaginal weights can be really useful for um, pelvic floor weakness, especially when there's no pain or really unevenness in the pelvic floor. So if it's general weakness, you can get vaginal weights. The brand we like the best is called Intimate Rose. And they start with, uh, they're gradually increasing in heaviness. Excuse me. So we start with carrying the lighter ones around for about 15 minutes. 
and the pelvic floor has to hold that in and so that can help strengthen it but it can also give us some feedback so that when we cough or laugh or sneeze some of us tend to push out on the pelvic floor instead of lift up and in so those vaginal weights can help us know what we're doing that might be making ourselves pee our pants okay so we covered pessaries we covered pe we covered menstrual products and we covered vaginal weights um so if you have any questions about those things, you can send us a private message, you can comment below. Um, there's a lot of different kinds of menstrual cups and there's a lot of trial and error that goes along with using menstrual cups. There's like larger ones and smaller ones and softer ones and firmer ones and more eco-friendly. And um, I've tried two and they just really aren't for me, but I know that lots of my friends love them. So they're worth a try. Um, if you have a favorite brand of menstrual cup or um, organic or bleach free menstrual pad or different kinds of tampons, please post below. Um, we saw we talked about pads, pessaries, we talked about weights. Um, let me know if you have any questions. See you later.